I'm Ermi and we are here at Little India and today we are here at the Little India Arcade We're going to check out what kind of spiritual products they have and immerse in the culture Yes, yeah, so if you are very curious about what Little India has to offer in terms of spirituality, come with us Let's go! These are, I don't know what you call them, statues? And those are actually made from the seeds of um, this tree which actually has this spiritual one? energy, this yes. It's a, it's a seed of a tree. Yeah. And then, it's a, is it like a sacred tree? This is Lord Shiva. It's Lord Shiva's, all oh, the representation of Lord Shiva. So for all these like uh, statues, are they made of silver? Yes. So all are silver? Yes. And uh, this is made of wood also. Karangali. Yeah. Infinite positive energy, prevention and cure from black magic, cure diseases and stuff, and can attract mummy. So this wood is actually called Karungali. And as I'm holding it, I actually can feel like there's a lot of energy coming from it. Uh, I feel like it's real because I can feel like as I hold it, I can feel like some buzzing coming from like the wood and I think that is like the property or the energy of the wood. Yeah. yeah. Can so I? yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. So this is good stuff. So if you want, you can come and check check this out. This is at Little Indian Arcade and uh, you can remember this gentleman's face. The pickle feather look. So for people who don't know, pickle feather is often used for like protection. If uh, uh, Eileen is full of negativity, I can sweep her with a pickle feather to get rid of negative energy. So if I buy more, can I sweep more? Yes, the pickle feather with the eye, it actually looks like the symbol that wards off like the evil like eye. This is $35 for a bunch of pickle feathers that you can... Oh, you know what is this? It's a fan. I can keep cool and ward off even at the same time. Actually, there isn't that many spiritual spiritual products. Mostly people sell like the flowers and yeah. stuff for prayer, yeah. right? Oh, I think this is a one of the guru moves. How much is this? How much is this one? There's no price free. Ah, free for me. Ah. <laughs> Eighty. Eighty dollars. Oh, what is this? It's cow skin, is it? Mm. $80 final price. Uh -huh. $75. Yeah. Oh. Is it good? Not bad. Are you going to buy it? $75 a bit expensive. $50 I don't mind. Asa, $50 she buy. No. Okay, how does it sound if I'm doing meditation? Actually, quite nice. 70. I say 60? 60, I, I immediately okay, take it. 65, I give you. 65? Good price, really. Okay, okay, 65. Yeah? Okay, 65. Okay, how many turn? Actually, I was attracted to it by the energy. Oh, it has yeah. energy? Yeah, it has energy because this is cow skin. And uh, it's actually good for shamanic travelling. So you imagine if I'm doing this, it's quite meditative with different kind of hand drums, right? They have different tonality mm. and this tonality sounds quite uh, spiritual or there's energy, quite like it. And, uh, and also it's quite well made, mm -hmm. I feel, and looks like all natural. So for all the figurines that we saw in the Little Indian Arcade, technically they don't have any energy. So the energy, uh, they have a little bit of energy, but the energy comes from the matter that they are made from. Uh, and most of the time, it's only when you place them in an altar and you kind of um, imbue them with energy, then only uh, they come alive with the energy. Does it matter? So if I buy a bigger one and more better material, does it will you be able to contain more energy or...? No, because it's more about your faith. Mm. And the deity doesn't care really whether it is uh, gold or clay or, or how much metal, money you spend. Or how much money you spend, you know. Uh, uh, they don't look at things like that way. I think we need uh, entertainment in our office. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So 
into some machine meatballs. Hey, Cheryl. Okay, we are at the Banana Leaf Apollo restaurant. I'm gonna order, I think, uh, butter chicken, which is always a favorite and uh, it's not so spicy. Deep fried marinated cauliflower with Indian spices, black sweet. Just to try something interesting that's like more like Indian and uh, like a paneer makana. And we're gonna have a jug of mango lassi. How does it taste? Really good. If you've never had mango lassi before, it's basically a yogurt drink. Blend up with mango. Is it nice? This place is actually famous for its good food and it has like really good vibes. So we're just gonna test like if the food that we ordered has good vibes too, okay? So let's start with the squid. If I eat this squid, am I gonna become beautiful? And it's a yes. Is Eileen going to become beautiful? Yes! It's a no! Oh no! So this is black squid and I always like to eat the squid head. I will eat a bit. It's a little bit spicy but not too spicy. But really good like with, uh, with rice. So if you don't like spice, you can try this black squid. Um, chili brown? Yeah, even though it's chili brown, it's really not very spicy. Because maybe you might think it's spicy. Spicy, not spicy. Oops. It's a bit spicy. Okay, the baseline again. I'm used to eating a lot of spice, so this is not spicy for me. Oh, you have a friend on you. No, no, no. She has a friend on her. What's that? It's a spider. Oh my god. Oh my god, help! 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 Oh, it's running into your neck. <laughs> I love butter chicken because it's always like really nice and creamy and juicy tender chicken. This one's good. Very really favorite, right? Mm -hmm. I always like cauliflower. I'm just lightly fried. It doesn't feel too oily. Oh yeah, it's not very oily. Yeah. It's very really good. I don't like vegetables, so it does not really taste like cauliflower. Okay. Okay. So this is crispy onion pakora. It's basically just like shredded onion put in batter and then fried, and it's a really really nice like snack. You can actually hear like the crisp. <laughs> no, super crispy. Oh my god, you just almost stuck it out of her nose. So if you come to an Indian restaurant, remember to try some of these interesting dishes for yourself. Okay, so I have two gulab jaman and one of these. Have we eat the goat? We having there. Can we eat there? This is called Rasa yeah. Malai. And uh, it's one of uh, their uh, like popular like desserts. So Let, this is uh, gulab uh, jaman. No. <laughs> which is basically Sorry. like fried flour with like sugar water. So this is masala tea. It's basically tea made with uh, masala spices. Wow, very sweet. Wow, it's the ultimate sin. It's fried and sweet. Please eat it and have a sugar rush. Oh my god! But this is sweeter. But this is nice. Mm. Okay, so today we had a good time at Little India Arcade and um, Amelia has bought her cow hide drums. Mm -hmm. We were looking around for spiritual products and we saw some or found some, but there are not a lot. A lot of them is, I think, I guess religious stuff for the temple. Mm -hmm. uh, for and for their pray. altar and their prayer room as well. I think generally there's a lot of life and I think if you look at like Feng Shui, we say there's a lot of human energy or Ren Qi. Mm. So it's extremely vibrant, there's a very prosperous energy like about it. Uh, but in terms of like spiritual energy, mm, apart from the first shop that we went to where they have the spiritual wood uh, Karangali, um, the rest of the shops actually didn't really have very much like spiritual or uh, anything. It feels more like a tourist and cultural, like a cultural right? like, place. Yeah. yeah. 
And this is all for today. Today we hang around Little India. I don't know where we'll go next time. Mm. But see you. Bye. You just take one small bite. Yeah? Do not eat this if you have diabetes. Yeah, oh my god. Like, it's super, super sweet. Yeah. Woo.